I'm Susan Lee, Australia's Minister for the Environment. This summit comes a year after the terrible black summer bushfires that affected many parts of southeastern Australia. Australia is a dry continent. It's required our Indigenous communities to be resourceful in looking after our unique natural ecosystems. Our farmers have had to understand how to best use our precious water, river systems and our ancient soils to support agricultural development. Adapting to climate change requires clear priorities. This year, we will refresh our National Climate Resilience and Adaptation Strategy to provide a roadmap for successful adaptation and resilience. To date, the Australian Government has committed more than $15 billion to natural resource management in the environment, water infrastructure, drought, disaster resilience and recovery. We've put in place a range of practical measures to help our communities and biodiversity recover from last year's fires, including $200 million to help native wildlife and their habitat recover. In July 2021, Australia will establish a National Resilience Relief and Recovery Agency, as well as Climate and Resilience Services Australia's two agencies to help adapt to resilience, to recover from our natural hazards and to prepare better for them. We will join the call for action on raising ambition for climate adaptation and resilience and the Coalition for Climate Resilient Investment. As part of our commitment to build a more climate resilient world, Australia has pledged new global finance of at least $1.5 billion from 2020 to 2025, a 50% increase on the previous period. We will continue to promote the work of the International Partnership for Blue Carbon and the Asia-Pacific Rainforest Partnership, which are invaluable hubs of international collaboration to support the resilience of our coastal, marine and inland forest ecosystems through nature-based solutions. We're deeply committed to working with the international community, including in the lead up to COP26, to accelerate adaptation, to protect our communities and our planet.